Hello, hello. I'm working on chapter 15 today. 10 words from chapter 15 of the Vocabulary Power 3 book, okay? Vocabulary Power 3. This first word is attribute. Attribute. A T T R I B U T E. A T T R I B U T E. Attribute. Attribute. This is a noun, okay? Noun. All right. <clears throat> there is a verb that looks like this, a different pronunciation, but we're focusing on the noun, attribute. Attribute. An attribute is some characteristic or quality and usually something good, a good characteristic or a good quality. For example, I could say uh, one positive attribute of exercise is that you feel better. You're healthier and you feel better. You just, your emotions and your body is operating uh, in a cleaner way. That's an attribute of exercise. It's some quality, some characteristic of exercise, okay? Or for myself, my attributes. I have blue eyes. I have a dark blondish hair color, kind of a brown blondish mix. Okay, those are attributes. Okay. Uh, number two, circumstance. Circumstance. C I R C U M S T A N C E. Now, in the book it's plural. It has an S, circumstances. Circumstances. But the base word here, circumstance. Singular form, circumstance, C-I-R-C-U-M-S-T-A-N-C-E, circumstance. It's also a noun, it is a noun, it's a thing, circumstance, okay, and circumstance could be a synonym of the word condition or situation, the situation that you have, the condition the circumstance, okay? <clears throat> Imagine you're coming from a new country to this country. Your current circumstance, in your current circumstance, you are moving, you're having to make new decisions about where to live and what to eat and, and learn about how to travel in this new place. Those are, those, those are the circumstances of your current life in that transition. All right. Number three, constrain, constrain, C-O-N-S-T-R-A-I-N, C-O-N-S-T-R-A-I-N, constrain, constrain. This is a verb, okay, show that word there for you, this is a verb an action word. And to constrain is to limit something, okay? To cause a limit, to constrain, to limit how something happens, constrain. We could say something like, uh, imagine your children are trying to run away, you know, and, and there's a, a busy street, there are lots of cars. You don't want them to run into that area. You could grab them and constrain them. You're limiting their ability to move in that direction because you're holding them and in that situation protecting them. But to constrain, to limit the movement of something, to limit uh, the ability something has, okay? Let's see. Uh, the next word, domain. Domain. D-O-M-A-I-N. Okay, D-O-M-A-I-N, domain. All right, 
Well, so we could say uh, this word we could use for a, what could we say, a situation or a, a situation or an environment in which someone feels comfortable, they have the control or they have the success or power in that situation, domain. So we could say something like, um, you know, the, uh, the, the desert is the domain for, you know, some animals like scorpions, okay? Scorpions are probably more successful than other animals when they're living in the desert. If you put a penguin in the desert, it's not their domain. It's not an environment they're comfortable in or successful in. Okay, penguins are usually in colder areas. Um, so yeah, the domain is an area that someone or something feels comfortable in or it's normal for that, that person or that thing, domain. We also could use it for expertise. I teach languages. I teach English and Spanish. My domain for education is languages. That's the area, I'm, area I am the most comfortable in and um, the area that I have more knowledge of in comparison to other subjects. Okay, the next word, element. Element. E L E M E N T. E L E M E N T. Element. Element. Okay. An element you could think of like air, water, earth, fire, those are different elements. They are different materials that make a part of this planet. All of those materials mixing in different ways. All of those different substances mixing in different ways. Elements. Okay? We use that word as a piece of something else. Elements. If something is elemental, using the adjective elemental, we think of it as something basic and, and fundamental and um, an essential piece of something else. But it is still a piece of a bigger object or a bigger idea. Okay? <clears throat> An element. One element of these videos is the spelling. That's one piece. Another element is the explanation and the definitions. A different element is the pronunciation. Okay? Elements. Number six. <clears throat> Expose. Expose. E X P O S E. E X P O S E. Expose. This word can be used as <clears throat> as uh, a synonym of to reveal, to reveal, to uncover something, to reveal, to expose. So you have your clothes on. If you take off your clothes, you expose your body. Right now, we're inside. When I go outside, I expose my hair and skin and face and hands to the sun. I'm letting this part that's currently covered in the building outside to expose myself to the sun, expose my body to the sun, okay? To expose something that right now is covered and you uncover that or you reveal it. We could use this in the phrase expose the truth. If someone is trying to hide the truth or say something that's not true and then you find evidence uh, that what this person said was not true, you expose the truth. You expose this, the real story. Okay, this is what happened. This is the true evidence. What this person said is not true. This per you, expose that, you expose that person and, and can re reveal that what they said is not true. Next word, isolated. Isolated. I-S-O-L-A-T-E. D, I, S, O, 
L A T E D isolated isolated this is the adjective okay this is the adjective form of this word a description it's a description isolated we do have a verb isolate isolate if you take off the d there isolate to isolate is to be alone to to leave a place where you are with others and then to be alone this is a word that you probably heard a lot when the pandemic first started and people were required to isolate during quarantine they say okay you need to separate you need to be separate from this group and this group um, to to quarantine to be alone or to take a group of people and separate them so maybe they were you know uh, two people that live together and they stay together but they need to be separate from other people that they know to isolate so you could isolate with another person but they are still separate from a group that they might have been with before they are you know like your co-workers you go to work you're with your co-workers and then you separate to isolate maybe you and other people together but you separate and isolate from these other people like in a quarantine isolated is the adjective to describe that person or that group that is now separate and it also could be a thing you can isolate things so let's say in the spelling of this video I isolate the letters they're all together in one word and then I isolate each letter and say the individual letters I S O L okay to isolate to separate something from a group and put it you know alone isolate okay um, and isolated being the description of that one once that has happened isolated okay number eight principle principle P R I N C I P A L P R I N C I P A L principle the principle uh, is, is an adjective principle is an adjective for the the most important or the the main idea or person or thing so we could say the the principal focus of these videos is to learn 10 new vocabulary words each video all right uh, i am a teacher and i have many different jobs that i have to do at work uh, there there are many different tasks and small jobs that are required for my job but my principal job is to teach specifically English and Spanish that's the principal um, focus of my job okay and number nine reluctance R E L U C T A N T R E L U C T A N T reluctance reluctance reluctant is an adjective that we use for a person who does not want to do some activity they are being asked to do okay reluctant they like I don't really don't really want to do that but they're being pressured to do this activity in some way okay or simply a person that is considering a decision thinking about a decision and they're not sure they're saying I don't I don't, I'm I don't really want to make that decision yet I need more time to think about it I would like to to wait okay reluctant and a synonym we use is hesitant to hesitate to have a little delay in your decision making or that choice or that action or to respond to a request to hesitate to be hesitant 
to be reluctant. And number 10, valid. Valid. V-A-L-I-D. V-A-L-I-D. Valid. This word is used for something that is current and it is acceptable. It meets the requirements. We see here ID, ID. For many jobs, you need an ID identification and you need a valid ID. You need an ID that is current and it is correct and acceptable. Okay, so imagine you have a driver's license from five years ago and it expired five years ago, it's not valid. If you have a new driver's license, it is valid. Okay, so if it's from five years ago and expired, not valid, but if you have one that's new, it's valid. And that's the end of this video.